Hey guys, it's All Things Disney, and today I'll be showing you how to create this adorable little Anna charm on your rainbow loom from the Disney movie Frozen that came out in 2013. And I think that she looks super adorable, and I'm so excited to create this for you all and to show you how to make this because I think she's just so cute. Um, she has her hair, you can see she has her white streak in her hair on the left side, and I just think she's so fun. She even has her little cape right there, and you can check out on my channel Elsa is coming soon as well and so they can be together and they look even cuter together I think and Elsa even has her long draggy cape in the back but you can watch out for Elsa coming soon but right now we'll be making Anna so now let's get right over and you can see what supplies you'll need to create her the supplies you'll need to create Anna are bandwise you're, these are just estimates so just so you know they may be a little more than you actually need but better safe than sorry right so we're gonna start with you're gonna need about 16 caramel bands for the hair and if you don't have caramel you can substitute it with any other shade of brown then you're also going to need about 12 skin tone bands for her skin and then you're gonna need about six white bands for her white streak in her hair you're also gonna need about eight black bands for the top part of her dress and her eyes, then you're going to need about 16 dark blue bands, and I'm using the dark blue or navy blue from the Sweets Mixed um, Ocean Pack, I think it was called like the Paradise Mix, I can't really remember what it's called, but it was a mix of four shades of Sweets Blue, I think. So that's what I'm using for the dark blue, then you're going to need four light blue bands, and I'm also using the turquoise from the Sweets Mix of Blues. And then you're going to need about 18 fuchsia for the gloves and the 3D cape in the back. You're also going to need one rainbow loom set up in the stagger configuration with the red arrow facing towards you and one rainbow loom hook. Now you can grab your supplies and we can get started. I also wanted to mention for the caramel bands, for the hair bands, whatever color you're using, you might need two extra of the caramel bands because I think I counted wrong. So you should grab two extra of your caramel bands just in case so yeah so to start we're gonna take out our looms and you're gonna place one caramel band or hair color band from the top center peg to the one underneath it and remember to make sure that the red arrow is facing down or towards you like that next we're gonna take double of our caramel bands and we're gonna go diagonally down to the left side. And as you can see, our Anna here is has her white streak on the left side, so you would think that we would make this with the white streak, but we're actually not going to do that. Um, since we're making her on the loom with the cape, she's going to pretty much, while we're making her, imagine that she's facing down on the loom. So that's why we're placing the brown bands on this side, and then we're going to place the white streak on this side so that when it comes out, we'll have the white streak on the left side which is accurate. So now we're going to take one caramel band or hair color band and one white band, then go diagonally down to the right side. Then we're going to do that again, so take one caramel, one white, and you can go diagonally, not diagonally, but just straight down once on the right side, like that. Now on the other side, we're just going to go down once with double caramel bands. Next we're going to take double of our skin tone bands and go down once in the center peg, just going down, then once again, like that. Then we're going to go down from the left side with double skin tone bands into the center. Then we're going to do the same for the right side, so go diagonally into the center, therefore closing off the face. Like that. Next we're going to take another double of our skin tone bands and just go down once right there down in the center to form the neck. Now before we continue we can add on the hair. So we're going to take out our hooks and we're going to make a pretty much we're just going to make a link or chain of links pretty much. So just take one of your caramel bands, twist it around the tip of your hook two times creating three loops. Then you're going to take double caramel bands, place them on the tip of your hook, slide on the loops and bring those back over like that. Then take Another double, place them on the tip of your hook, slide on all the loops, and bring the ends back over 
like that, and then we're going to do this one more time. You can do this more times or less times. You can do it only two times like this, what we have now, or you can do it four times, depending on how long you want the hair, but I think three will be good. So I'm just repeating that step three times, so I have three loops of two bands, like that. Then I'm going to place this on the... Oh! <laughs> Sorry about that. I just really... I hit the loom. Oh my gosh. Um, but I'm just going to take it off the hook onto my fingers, and I'm going to place this on the third peg down from the top on the side that has no white bands, so the non-white streak side, so it should be on the left side. Just place it down on the third peg down from the top like that. Now on the other side, we're going to take one caramel band, place it on the tip of your hook, or twist it around the tip of your hook two times, creating three loops. Then I'm going to take one white band and one of my caramel bands and place them on the tip of my hook and then br bring the loops through them, then bring the sides back over, then we're going to do that again. So take one white, one caramel, slide the loops through them, bring them back over, and then again. You can mix up the order of which way you put them on, so you can do one caramel first, one white, whatever you want. You can also do patterns like one caramel and one white, and then two caramels, one caramel, one white, whatever you want, but I think this is okay. So now we have three links or loops, whatever you want to call them. So we have our cap band, and then one white, one caramel, one white, one caramel, white, one white, one caramel. Then I'm going to take this off my hook onto my fingers and place it on the opposite side, facing down like that. Next, I am going to move on, so I'm going to take double of my fuchsia bands and go diagonally from the neck to the side, like that. Next, we're going to take another double fuchsia and go diagonally down to the right side, like that. Next, we're going to take double of our black bands and just go down once on the left side, then once in the center, and once on the right side, like that. Then we're going to take double of our dark blue bands and go down once on the left side, and then again on the left side, like that, then two times in the center, so go down once with double bands, then go down again, and I chose the sweets bands so that it would look more glittery, and I just thought it would look more fun, and I also used the sweets bands on Elsa so that they were matching, because they are sisters after all, so they are sparkly and matching. I just thought it added a fun effect. Now we're going to add two more sweet spans on the side, and if you don't have sweet spans, you can just use normal blue. So, um, so I'm just going to go down two times on the right side, like that. So now it looks like this. Next, we're going to move up to the arms, and we're just going to add on the arms. So take two fuchsia bands, but not at once. Just take one by one. So take one fuchsia band and twist it around the tip of your hook two times, creating three loops. Then we're going to take two of our light blue bands, or turquoise bands, place them on the tip of your hook, slide on the loops, and bring them back over like that. Then you can take this off onto your fingers, place this on the fifth peg down from the top on the left side, and then we're going to do the same step for the right side. So we're going to twist one fuchsia band around the tip of your hook two times, creating three loops, and then you can take your other two turquoise bands, place them on the tip of your hook, slide on the loops, and bring the ends back over each other, like that. Then we're just going to take this off our hook onto our fingers and place it on the opposite side, on the right side, on the fifth peg down from the top, like that. Now we can add on our triangle bands, so we're going to start with the body, and we're just going to make a triangle on those last three pegs where we just place those last blue bands, like that, which should be the eighth pegs down from the top on the left, the center, and the right. So count down eight from each side, including the center, and you'll be able to place these. Then take the bottom part of the triangle band and bring it up to the center peg, like that. Creating this odd shape. Then we're going to make two more triangles above it with blue bands, but the first one will just be a normal triangle, but the second one we're going to take 
make it a triangle, but before you place it down on the last peg, we're going to twist it over itself so it, we pretty much make a double triangle almost by twisting it over itself, which will make it more tighter, giving her more of a slimmer chest, and it'll kind of like define the dress a little better. Now we're going to move up to the head, and we're going to add on the eye. So you're going to take one of your black bands and twist around the tip of your hook, three times creating four loops like that and then squish it down like this. Then we're going to take our other black band right here, twist it around the tip of your hook as well three times, creating four loops like that. So now we have two eyes right here. Then take one more of your skin color bands, place it on the tip of your hook, slide on all the loops of the black bands like that. And this is taking me a while. Okay, so now I have everything here, and I'm just going to stretch that band from the third peg down from the top on the right side and on the left side, so just stretch it out. Then we're going to separate the eyes if they're scrunched up in the middle, like that. And then I'm just going to go in with my hook and take the top part of that band in the middle and bring it up to the peg right there, the third peg down from the top in the center, so that it separates the eyes and it looks like this. Now we are going to hook up the body and then we can add on the cape if you want to add on the cape. You don't have to add on the cape, but I think it looks cooler and adds the full Anna effect. But first we're going to hook up the body. So we're going to start in the middle and bring the bottom two bands up. Like that. Then go in and bring the bottom two blue bands up. Then go in and grab the bottom two black bands and bring those up, and then stop there. Next on the sides, we're going to go in and grab the bottom two bands, and make sure you're going in the triangle band and avoid it. You don't want to grab that triangle band. And then go in the triangle band again and bring the bottom two bands up. Go in the triangle band again, and this one's a tighter one right here, so be careful. So the double looped triangle band, and just grab the bottom two black bands, and then stay there, and don't hook up the next two pegs because we're not ready for those yet. So stop where the arms are. Then on the other side we're going to do the same thing, so go in the bottom band, the triangle band, and bring only the bottom two bands up. Then go in the triangle band, bring the bottom two blue ones up. Then go in the tight triangle band and bring the bottom two black bands up. Like that. Now before we hook up these fuchsia bands we're going to push down our body like that. And then we're going to pretty much outline the body with our fuchsia bands. So to outline it, we're going to start at the top, right here on the fifth peg down from the top on the left side. We're just going to take one fuchsia band and go down once. Then we're going to go down two more times in that row. Make sure you're not over, like, over the other bands. Make sure you're not interfering with them or overlapping them just to go right over these bands. Then we're going to do that for the center as well. So pretty much outline the whole body, not these diagonal lines, just the line. It looks pretty much like a triple single bracelet if you've ever made one of those. Most of us have made those if you're in the Rainbow Loom world. Um, and where'd that come from? Um, so now I'm just pretty much outlining the whole thing with single bands like that. Then I'm going to do triangle bands, so I'm going to take one fuchsia band on the bottom and make a triangle. And like we did in the dress, you're just going to bring the bottom part of the triangle up like that. Then we're going to make more triangles above the next two. And unlike the body, we're just going to make no two normal triangles, no twisting, so it's easy like that. Now we can hook up the cape. So start in the middle, make sure you're not grabbing any of the bands from underneath, just the fuchsia bands, and just bring the bottom one fuchsia band up. Then do the same on the side, so go in the triangle band and grab only the fuchsia bands that are there. So there should only be one fuchsia band, go under the triangle band, bring that one fuchsia band up, go under the triangle band and bring that one fuchsia up. 
Then do the same on the other side. So go in, grab that bottom band, bring it up, then go in, grab the bottom band and bring it up, then go in the triangle band, bring the bottom band up, like that. Now once your cape looks like this and your body is underneath it all hooked up, then we can go in the diagonal under the arms right here where we left off with the loom. So go under everything, grab only those bottom two fuchsia bands and bring them in diagonally into the center. Then on the other side we're just going to go under the arms and everything that's there and bring the bottom two diagonal fuchsia bands into the center. like that. Now once your loom looks like this, we have the whole body and cape done, so that's good. Now we get to go on to the easy part, which is the head. So just go under everything on that middle peg and grab only the bottom two skin tone bands for the neck and bring those up. Then go in, grab the top two skin tone bands and bring them diagonally to this side where they go. Then go in and grab the next top two. Then go in and grab the last two, which are going up to the center, and bring those up, and then do the same one more time in the center, like that. So we hook up two times in the center, then on each of the sides we're just going to go up. So in the sides we're just going to go under everything, including the eyes and the um, hair that we have here, and just grab those bottom two one white, one caramel bands on the left side, the right side actually, and then grab the bottom two and go in the diagonal, then do the same on the other side, so go under everything and gra just grab those two caramel bands, bring them up and then go in the diagonal and bring those in like that. So now we have our completed Anna on the loom, so now we're just going to go on everything and grab that last one band. The first band we placed when we were placing bands, which will be the last band we hook up. Like that. Then from the outside, you're just gonna grab that bottom part of the band and bring it up and over the peg, like that, and then pull on it to tighten it, like that. Now from the bottom, we can just take everything off with our hook. like that. So now I'm going to move my loom over and now we have our Anna. So now we have everything here. We have everything that we need. So you can just stretch everything out. Make sure that slip knot is tight. You can stretch the face out if you want to. Then you can stretch out the body, the arms, whatever you want. So there is our Anna. So I'm going to add some finishing details. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to place the hair. I'm going to secure it to her body by going like in like this. See like I did here, I secured it there so it has a definite like permanent shape. You don't have to do this if you want your hair to be a little more free. But all I'm going to do to do this is I'm going to push the cape up and I am simply going to go through the body somewhere that I want the hair to be Then I'm just gonna place the hair on my hook as well so I have all of this on my hook then I'm gonna take one of my caramel bands place it on the tip of my hook and pull everything through it like that and then I'm gonna take my hook and go back through somewhere else and then just take the other side of the band and pull it through so I have both sides on my hook and just make it slip knot. Then I can just hide this underneath the body on the back side somewhere so that it's unseen and the cape will cover it so no one has to see that. Now I'm going to do the same for the other side. So, so now I have this 
and on the other side I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to go to about the same spot, and then go through the cap band of the hair, take another caramel band, pull it through the body, and bring it back through. Like that and then just bring both sides over and pull. Then I'm just going to leave that forever hidden and then I have my hair. Like that. Here I did it a little more curved in but I'm fine with this. So now I'm just going to hide this slip knot band right here by going to the back side and just go through some bands with my hook and then pull the cap band through like that. So now we have our completed Anna. And so that's what she looks like. So thank you very much for watching this and I hope you enjoyed this. And if you make any of these Annas, you can make them on Instagram and you can show them to me and on Instagram I'll leave um down below I'll tell what my username is down below and any hashtags you can use if you make these so yeah and I'd love to see them so if you make them definitely share them on Instagram so yeah um so thanks for watching please comment like and subscribe and I'll see you real soon bye